We start 7.30 in the morning, but I'm usually out at 5.30. When we come in the morning, Mark does a devotion. It's again about Paul uh, writing And then he kind of gives us our marching orders. Up there is two marks with an X. Okay. You're putting it on the north side of the mark. Okay. I'll look around to see what has been done, if it's done right, anything that needs to be done. I think we need four foot up there anyway, and then eight foot. Yeah, you can stay up there. Kind of plan the day. The Lord's blessed me with many talents and time and sufficient resources to where I can do this, and it's something I want to do. overall phase is phase one. We're doing the five classrooms addition to the school. We had the walls up and out. We're putting up the trusses. They were very available this summer and it worked out that we all just kind of came together and started having weekly meetings for about two months and it just made sense to a lot of people to get, get them in here and get them working. On this particular project, uh, we were, I think we were able to save about $108,000 by using Builders for Christ over three months. So it's, uh, it's a huge, it's a huge meaningful number. Because your church is starting here. It was probably a Builders for Christ on a, a Wells Connection. And my husband and I both love to build. And so we were sitting in the, in the pew and that went up and he looked at me and he said, I want to do that when we retire. Being able to see other people serving and giving and sharing at the same time that you are, it is a, a special chemistry. The reason I'm here is because of the fellowship, the camaraderie, uh, and it's indescribable the feeling you get from helping others. They train me a lot, do a lot of training. Every year project I learn more. Helping build a church is wonderful, rewarding work. I know the joy of serving the Lord, and there's nothing else greater. You're bringing the cream of the crop of the salt of the earth wells people into your project and into your congregation. They become a part of the, the, the family of the congregation for the two or three weeks that a certain family is here. They're attending our Bible studies. A lot of times they're singing in our choir. You work with these people every day and you eat with them and we pray together. They're meeting and greeting our folks, they're meeting and greeting the trades people that come in and they're just letting their light shine everywhere they are. Those guys really work hard. The guys are out there and Mark says a couple times, you guys want to quit at noon? Nope, we're going to work right till four o'clock. Try to watch what they're doing. And they go right ahead and do it. And so it's a lot of sweat and a lot of effort put in and to, to do it for nothing is, is, that's almost unbelievable. That's why it's short. And there were some members who thought we were paid. And they were really surprised to find out we are volunteers, totally. The only payment we get is they have to set up a campground for us and we get a free meal. <laughs> That's our payment, really. So the rest is our volunteer with our labor for the love of our Savior. Not only are they skilled workers, but they're taking ownership in what they're doing. They, they take their craftsmanship very seriously because they know they're doing it for the Lord and they know they're doing it for fellow believers. They take pride in it. Somebody once told me that the Ark was built by volunteers and the Titanic was built by professionals. Nick, look at that, perfect. They come in, uh, some stay for a week or two, some stay, been staying mostly the whole summer. And uh, when they go, it's just hard to say goodbye, even if you only knew them for a few weeks. The congregation can appreciate us being here, but we as builders appreciate one another. And if you put in two weeks, three weeks, or whatever, it's really hard for members to go. We owe all this to the glory of God. I mean, at, at, you know, he's the one that it was his will for us to go ahead with this project. It was his will for us to collect a lot of money through a period of only a few months to get the project going. And if we didn't do this, we'd have to wait another year. We wouldn't have had Builders for Christ. And to me, that was the most important thing that we did 